wasn't crazy before he was put on the drugs. He was put on them because he was an obsessive kid and he gets progressively crazier and manic and psychotic, paranoid on the drugs. I sent the information to USA Today. I said, here's the FDA report. Here's how you can get you the autopsy report. He was on drugs. You need to correct this. It was in his system at the time of his death, therapeutic level. They didn't even respond to me. Not surprising. One of the things that really concerns me, and you've written about this as well, is in the aftermath of Sandy Hook, we saw people on both the left and the right saying, it's psychiatric evaluations that we need more of to start a re to stop a repeat of this and calling for background checks calling for uh, banning people from owning guns if they've had any connection whatsoever with the psychiatrist or allowing the psychiatrist to essentially declare people without any kind of due process to uh, declare them as being unfit for handing uh, handling uh, guns right yeah, you're absolutely right. It's an interesting phenomenon. In my fight against lobotomy, I worked with Congress, I actually wrote some legislation. Um, and the support I got was from conservatives who thought lobotomy was wrong because it tampered with God's given mind and brain. Mm -hmm. And from uh, the Black Caucus, who, because I had disclosed that the Harvard people got their funding by claiming they could do surgery on ghetto rioters. And I also found out that they were operating on little black children at the University of Mississippi. The broad liberal community did not support me as anywhere near as much as the conservatives and as the, and libertarians and the black caucus. And I'm really concerned now that conservatives uh, don't see that turning to psychiatry yes. as a solution is, is ultimately totalitarian. They just don't see it. Yes, yes. It, it really surprised me, and, it, and I felt that that was very, very dangerous. Why do you think that the uh, liberals did not support you in, uh, in that previous effort? Well, I think it's a social control issue. I mean, it was very interesting. At one point, I found out that the Kennedy daughter had been lobotomized before anybody publicized it. And Ken, Ted Kennedy was fighting me on the lobotomy issue. Hmm. I actually threatened, oh, I was such a tough kid in my 30s and 40s. I threatened to <laughs> disclose photos of Rosemary, you know, in, in her hospital where she, where she was being kept with, with the notes about her being lobotomized to force Ted Kennedy to have hearings. Yeah. Uh, on lobotomy. I think that in the, lib among, in the liberal community, there are many people who do understand these issues, but there are many who so believe in psychiatry. You know, if you don't have a spiritual religion, psychiatry fills in your religion. Psychiatry says that we can tamper with the brain and make you better. We can find genetic causes which don't exist for mental disturbances. We can locate biochemical imbalances. It easily becomes a substitute ideology for believing we have free will, we have values, we have a soul. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that's a part of where liberals get caught, but many, many liberals support our work. You know, it, it's interesting that you had mentioned that, too, that they, they see it as kind of a substitute for religion, because Actually, you know, psyche means soul. So, you know, essentially psychology yeah. actually meant the study of the soul for people who really didn't have any religious connection or, or couldn't bring themselves to, uh, to, to see a god, you know. So it, that does become kind of their god, I guess. And they've got these different schools of psychology, which I guess are kind of like religious denominations. You know, you're Jungian or you're Freudian or whatever. <laughs> I guess those are... Well, right, David. And it's, and it's a state-supported religion. It's like... Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like Catholicism in the 14th century, yeah. because you have your National Institute of Mental Health, which is fundamentally a support group for psychiatry. You have your FDA, which legitimizes psychiatric drugs, none of which are really legitimate. I mean, they're usually studied for three or four or five weeks. Uh, they're completely controlled in the studies by the drug companies. So you have the, all these federal organizations, even the Department of Education has supported the diagnosis of ADHD and the drugging of children. So psychiatry can be viewed in some ways as a materialistic, state-supported religion. Now, that's not its intention. It's not how it thinks of itself, yeah, yeah. but it sure is how it functions in many ways.
Boy, that, that is an amazing insight. I, I couldn't agree with you more. That, that's truly amazing. Uh, I want to continue talking to you about uh, SSRI stuff when we come back. You know, one of the things that you mentioned earlier was the FDA cover-up of the drug trials for uh, Eli, Eli Lilly and other companies that are making SSRI drugs. I mean, when you look at this drug approval process, a lot of times I think the FDA is so in bed with these drug companies that essentially what they do is give them, their, their purpose is not really to protect the public, but to give them legal immunity in lawsuits, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. The FDA has yet to even study electroshock machines. They've wow. given shock machines a free ride, and finally they were pressured recently into, say, into saying they were going to actually require shock machines to be tested, but they've done nothing about it. The FDA probably does more harm than good, at least in the area I know of psychiatry, shock and psychosurgery. We're talking to Dr. Peter Bregan, an expert witness on SSRIs and other psychiatric issues. We're gonna be right back after the break. One more segment with Dr. Peter Bregan. Stay with us. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of hb extract it's extremely effective and it starts working in just days visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers and we've never increased our price in over 10 years that makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it a healthy heart is a happy heart call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com the Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show I'm David Knight and I've been talking to Dr. Peter Bregan He's a psychiatrist, an expert witness in many cases About the effects of SSRI drugs we were just talking before the break about how the FDA actually empowers and provides cover for drug companies, how they selectively cherry-picked their drug studies so they could get the results that they wanted. Dr. Bregan, in this last segment that we've got that's kind of short, I want to talk to you about uh, the 
executive orders that Obama came out with as part of Obamacare, you wrote an article saying that his executive orders vastly empowered psychiatry and gutted patient rights. Can you talk to us a little bit about uh, your concerns about the kind of mandates that are part of the Affordable Care Act, or as we typically refer to it as Obamacare, those kind of mandates and the effect that they're going to have against patients' rights and in favor of uh, the psych psychiatric community? Well, remember that psychiatric records are considered medical records. Therapy records are considered medical records. All of them are covered by insurance or will be eventually covered by insurance, or they'll have to opt out for privacy. And all of that is going to these central collection uh, agencies, you know, that are sprinkled throughout the states to bring together all the data and to organize it electronically. There is no way that that's going to remain private forever. I mean, we have corporations being broken into. We have the Pentagon's uh, computers being uh, oh, broken yeah. into. Yeah. There's no way that your health records are going to stay private. And you have to be really careful now about telling any health care provider anything personal about yourself, which is an absolute disaster. And Obama was also calling for a strengthening of the ability to lock people up against their will. But there's no, no way psychiatry can uh, discern who's violent and who is even harmful to themselves. What that results in when you increase involuntary treatment is, is uh, you might have to put away 10,000 people to stop one person from, from causing harm, and you'll never even know if you stop that one person because there's just no way to figure all that out. Oh, yeah. Using, empowering psychiatry is a disaster. Uh, I've, always, I've always said that when people give up their liberty for security, they wind up in a maximum security cell, and that's literally oh, what will that happen. Is good. Yeah, that's literally that is, what will happen. That's really, really good. I'd like to address two, two positive things, if I could, quickly. Sure. Yes. One, one is don't rush and take, just stop taking your psychiatric drugs after listening to us today, because stopping drugs is as dangerous as starting them because it throws your brain out of balance once again. And I've written a book called Psychiatric Drug Withdrawal, which talks about safe and effective withdrawal from drugs. The other point I want to say is whether you believe your brain is God given or evolution given, you have within yourself the power to overcome your worst emotional suffering. You have the power within yourself to regain your autonomy. You can become more and more self-determined. The key to a good life is moral, ethical, and principled relationships with other human beings. And human beings heal each other. Mechanics doesn't heal us. Psychiatry doesn't heal us. You know, don't accept this cultural avalanche that is robbing us of our belief in ourselves as souls, as human beings who can handle our own lives. And if we need help, we need human caring, loving help. We don't need destructive interventions into our brains, whether it's stimulants for our children or That is so wise. Excellent, excellent advice from Dr. Peter Bregan. If you want to know more about him, to find his books, you can go to bregan.com. And I would suggest you do. A very wise man. Excellent advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Peter Bregan, for joining us. We're going to be right back, and we're going to have more news from the border. Stay with us. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. 
Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network.